Hey guys, how's it going? Modem here. Time again for another Let's Play. Time for a brand new game actually to play here. Uh, this one is entitled, as you can see there, Quantum Conundrum. Uh, this is a game by Squeenix, or aptly known Square Enix. No, they'd be aptly known Squeenix. They are Square Enix, yes. You, know, you get my meaning. Uh, this one here is, I believe, the same creative team that did Portal, so this is obviously going to be a puzzle game. And of course, it does star John Delancey, who uh, most of us know him as Q from Star Trek, and more recently, people know him as Discord from the My Little Pony series. So, but it's it's John Delancey. So let's take a look. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put some subtitles on so people can actually read. Just in, if there is any show subtitles, okay. Wait, was there anything else I need to know here? Brightness. Good, okay. Good enough. And just a quick look at the controls. Okay, I think we're good, okay. Let us begin. Learning dimensions. Once upon a time. That's how these things usually start, yes? Yes, Professor a Delancey. Took pity on her brilliant, prolific, and incredible brother. She had somehow gotten it in her head that he might be lonely, or at least that's what she claims. Always. And so, on a perfectly fine, productive Friday afternoon, the sister picked up her son from the Elwood Academy for Boys and dropped the aggravating child off on my... Uh, the, the brother's doorstep. <laughs> Now you, I mean, the boy, had visited Quadrangle Manor on a few occasions. Okay. Each time was complete with a grand entrance from the brother, who was in fact a professor and inventor with a profound and soaring intellect. <laughs> of course. The inventions he exhibited He's a very smart man. Ooh. The boy eagerly awaited the revealing of the professor's latest contrivance, but this, the most captivating of visits, started a bit differently. Ooh. Can't have the same thing happening all the time now. That'd be boring. Well, let's see here. If I configure Kay. a transdimensional velocity regulator at approximately 0 0.887 mm. microseconds past the... Oh, you're here? I am here. I have the most incredible invention to show you this visit. Unfortunately, I'm a bit <laughs> indisposed at the moment. Okay. Moving around with the side you keys. Take your luggage into the foyer. I will join you as soon as I can. Push the button. Move the thing over. Oh, you confounded machine. Excuse me? Ugh. What was that? Oh, I was gonna ask you the same thing. I can pick up a book. Oh, good. That should be a safety release for the door up there somewhere. Now, where on earth did I put that? Hmm? Nope. <sighs> well, looks like I'm gonna have to step oh, on top yes, of things. Oh, yes, I'd forgotten. You're not particularly tall are you you should be able wait a minute something mm. isn't quite right here professor oh no oh. no 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 okay ah! oh, what the f what the hell oh, what the hell oh Okay. Wait, what just happened? Why do you keep asking me? I don't know anything. I'm not really sure where I am right now. Um. The security uplink on my watch is still. Gonna tweak that thing here. Oh. I can see you and. Hello? You, you, you can hear me, right? Yes, Jump I can hear you. Jump around a bit if you can. Jump around. Ah. Jump around, jump up, jump up, and get down. System. Well, I most certainly can do better than this. Testing, 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 testing. There. Ooh, there we go. Much better. 
Now, what in the world are you doing here? Were you supposed to be here today? I think so. Well, judging from the current underwhelming amount of light in this room, we're still on backup power. My head is killing me. It seems as though I now possess a rather large epidural hematoma. A bump on the head. Do me yes, I know. I watched House a favor and head to the front hall. There's a way to restart the power grid. Well, the graphics certainly look really nice. Something out of Square Enix just kind of coming off of their Disney phase here. Looks everything is last I remember I was in the technology sector, and then I don't know. I do think the failsafe was tripped accidentally. Unfortunately, the front door will remain in lockdown until you can restore Ooh. the power. Let's break some things. Let's throw some things. Let's grab some things, because, you know, we're a child and stuff. You know, for kids. Okay, enough of throwing these books. This is a really creepy, not really creepy, but pretty big mansion. If you head over to my office over on the left, you should be able to restart the manor's power grid. Sure. Throw that switch there. It should be the one. Chunk. Well, that wasn't as effective as I'd hoped. You'll have to reactivate the generators in each mm. sector in order to lift the current lockdown. Just uh, take me. Sorry, I'm just kind of like browsing around now. A crit Ooh. I wish you could see my facial expression right now, as I am not pleased. Oh, what you are so. holding mm. is an early prototype of the interdimensional ship device, or IDS device for short. IDS. It's okay. one piece of my latest invention that should come in handy. Get it? You know, because it's a glove. <laughs> <sighs> Anyways, find blueprint tubes to open the uncle's research and development lab. Okay, I guess now we have to go to the each section and open the, the generator. If you can access thing. the generator at the back of each wing, we might be able to lift the lockdown on the rest of the house. Sounds it seems fair. As if the breaker <laughs> mustaches. Did the blue wing. Well, I suppose you should start there first. I have a feeling that I have a very eccentric. Uncle, was I it? I think so. My latest invention has required me to make a few adjustments to the house since the last time you barged in. Uh, I mean, visited. Thankfully, that invention of mine should be infused with more than enough genius to help navigate some of the not so childproof areas. Hmm. I guess I am a child. Now, one of the topics that our family has been studying for several generations are rifts existing between various dimensions. I've been able to develop a power source that will channel enough energy into one of these dimensional rifts <laughs> that it can be widened enough to travel through. I feel like I'm back in science class. Not really saying much, just kind of listening, because... I mean, can you, can you blame me? Like, really, it's Judge Lancey talking kind of have to, you know, shut the fuck up and listen. This looks like the rocket from the Rocketeer, except without the handle party pieces. I'm sure it was very much an influence. I'm going to take you. Can we get some water from here? I want some water in this jug. Can you put some water in here, sir? I'm thirsty. Uncle, this thing isn't giving me anything. I don't even know what the fuck it is. Ah. Okay, let's just move on. The glove controls the power source, which allows you to travel to whichever dimension has rifts in the area. Okay. So, how do I use the glove then? There's a painting of the glove you're wearing on the wall. Notice how it is nice and clean, and not completely destroyed by an unqualified ten-year-old. Or are you twelve? I can never remember. Let's make sure that life imitates art. Okay. We'll keep it clean. I'll you won't it. have control over the ability to switch dimensions yet. Just be patient. 
Fine. I can be patient. Patience is a virtue, as they this say. This door is using one of my inventions. The repetitive, periodic, articulating gruy day. Or a drinking bird. Except it's far more advanced. Oh, yes. It likes to gulp, too. Could be a gulping bird. Or a chugging bird. Maybe chugs. Chug gulp. Chug gulp? Yeah. Moving on. Push the button. Open door. Go. Well, because your cat is an early prototype. Oh, look at the cat. Few limitations oh, look at that. Dimension accessibility and the distance it can be from a receptacle in order to function. You'll see what I mean eventually. It's a cat. Top hat. A monocle. <laughs> uh, what the... <laughs> Okay, apparently the cat's getting older. I would imagine that's what those cats look like when they get older. Hmm. This is such an early experiment with dimensional shifting, so I decided to have it triggered remotely with the drinking bird. Instead of operating a door, the bird will trigger a dimensional shift. There's an IDS battery in the machine that will power the dimensions. Which in this case is... A fluffy Dimension! Oh. In addition to Fluffy being embarrassingly adorable, it's also rather useful. Because everything is ten times lighter than normal. Good to know. That was my timer going off in case anybody heard that. But I think I'm gonna play for a little bit longer because I just... I like just started. So... Okay, so it makes everything lighter. That's good. Ha <laughs> He's a chicken! Ah, oh, this is funny. Okay. So it's a uh, safe. Good. Jesus. So this is, I guess, the part that's like in Portal, where you can't really control everything, but just gives you one section of it. Though that okay. looks like a regular scale, it is in fact a portable kinetic mass to electricity converter. Good to know. So yeah, it's a puzzle game. And it kind of almost seems like the same... I won't say elements, but the same kind of feel of Portal. Like it was something new and different, but... Still with a linear kind of aspect to it. So I like it so far. So uh, sorry for the slow introduction. I'm going to obviously do some more recordings of this one so we can continue on. Um, like the video here. I'm going to pause it here for now, guys. Uh, like the video. Uh, subscribe uh, to my channel to watch more of the actual series and see more about this actual game plus the other games that I do watch. And if you have any suggestions for any games that you'd love to me to play, uh, please leave me a comment down below. And, uh, you know, please, it would be great if you share this video around. That would be awesome. So thanks again for watching, guys. I'll catch you later.